your peeps, me and you here, and welcome back to Dragalia Lost. The miracle of Dragon Yule is over, and we have a ton of notices here, and yes, that is thunder, but let's talk about all the craziness that they just dropped on us, so let's get to it. To say that I am shook is an understatement. So the game updated, we have a new version, we have a lot of notices, and I wasn't gonna wait until tomorrow to make this video because I just released a video a little bit earlier today, but I'm like, no, I cannot sleep and keep this to myself because I am like shook. And there are just so many things that they just dropped on us and I gotta talk about it to somebody and that somebody is you. <laughs> um, so there is several updates, we're gonna talk about them somehow. So the first thing that we have here is the treasure trade update. The treasure trade was updated at 11.30 p.m. Central Time on the 26th. And during the update process, attempting to trade something would cause some issues. And you know, they'll talk about that in a separate thing. So I just want to quickly go to the treasure trade and see what we have different, just so our, you know, for our knowledge. I know that they were gonna talk, uh, they were gonna do some changes. Here. So, oh, we can trade for Inferno Orbs and Blaze Orbs. We can trade up. That is nice. So, if you have a specific element type of an orb, you can go and level up. That is very nice, especially when you have a lot of something. You can upgrade to different materials for weapons. That is awesome. So, I can upgrade um, to Granite using Iron Ore. That is really nice. That is very nice. I'm so glad they finally implemented this. <laughs> you could, yeah, so you could upgrade the blaze orbs, steam orbs using these and, okay, hold on. Okay, so they're just giving you options of, you know, to be able to upgrade different things. Let's see, I think, I'm confused, iron ore. There might be some duplication here. Um, okay, bat swing for a feather. Let's see. I don't know, there's just like a ton of options. No. There is. So, bat wing for a feather. Feather for a bat wing. There's just a lot of options that you could do for upgrading. That is awesome. And you can, you can now finally get scales for using scales so you can use an upper tier to a lower tier oh my gosh I am so happy about this like no one's business and um, I don't think any of these are different and Imperial Onslaught these also look the same so we do have more options now for the trading that is so great this was an amazing add to the game no lie no we're not talking about this because that one is insane I've already read all these and oh my, no I don't want to select that, I'm trying to select view more. Okay, okay so update notification, so we are now on version 1.3.1 .1, and that's what's available now and in this thing, in this update, they have, you know, given us a tenfold summon voucher. To show our gratitude to everyone who performed this update, we are sending a tenfold summon voucher. Yes, everybody gets one. I'm very happy because a banner is coming and ooh, we're gonna talk about that too. Okay, so they've changed and you know done stuff. The feature change made it so that the energized effect is applied to continuous recovery skills and damage due to affliction and buff defrost. Isha is fixed. If you select a helper from a friend, a player who is not your friend, and send a friend request is after done clearing the quest. Then select repeat, send a friend request once more. It becomes impossible to progress. So basically, you did a quest, you send a friend request to the person who helped you, and then you repeat it, and then you try to send a friend request again, the game becomes unplayable. I've never had this happen to me, but apparently they fixed this. Also, if clearing a request, you send a friend request to a player who has reached their friend limit, it becomes impossible to progress. Also, I did not have this issue, but it people have you know experienced it and they fixed it that was great the gauge accelerator ability is more effective on enemies um in the overdrive state than it ought to be oh <laughs> so they fix that and fix other minor issues 
and da da da. That's basically all that. But there's so much more. So, New Year exclusive Lucky Hanatsuki paddle packing coming. So, on the 30th of this month, which is Monday. Monday? Monday? The 30th? Sunday night at 10 p.m. Central, my time. There is going to be this Lucky Hanatsuki paddle pack. And it is an exclusive weapon for the new year with diamantium and upgrade items. That is very interesting. I'm very curious to see the price point of this. So it's going to be an exclusive weapon, exclusive weapon, diamantium, and upgrade stuff in a pack that you'll be able to buy. I hope the price is reasonable because it's a collectible item. I mean, people are going to be wanting to get it. And I mean, hopefully there is a way to get it without having to spend money, but I mean, it's going to be in the treasure shop, it's going to be in a special pack, There's gonna be, it's behind a paywall. And, you know, I'm still going to get it, depending on what kind of weapon it is. No, I'm still going to get it, just for, you know, collectible. And how good it is. We'll talk about it once it's here and we can review it. And, of course, I'll make a, is it worth it? Also, okay, this one definitely overwhelmed me. <laughs> Because we are going to do a Is It Worth It segment, um, but I can't fully do that because we don't have prices. But there's New Year exclusive, New Year's party packs incoming. So for New Year's, starting at, the, you know, at 12 a.m. on the 31st, so starting Monday, there's going to be these new packs in the shop. And there's going to be the New Year's party pack, which, you know, New Year's party pack Dash upgrade special, which is gonna have 500 amantium, 20,000 mana, 100,000, yeah, 100,000 rupees, 50 gold crystals, 20 gold whetstone, 20 concentrated water, and 20 sunken dragon fruit. Then there's the dragon unbind special, which is gonna have 960 diamantium with mana, rupees, and sunlit stone. And there's also gonna be a five star adventurer special, which allows you to get a five star. Summon voucher, which you already know how those go sometimes. A, there's going to be Diamantium times 2,000, so that's a little bit more than a full summon. And then three Champions, Testament, and Mana. So I'm very tempted by that one and the other one. And also by this other one, because this one, next one is kind of like, ooh, it's very trigger to this event. Which is a Shadow Upgrade special. It's going to have 2,000 Diamantium, 200,000 Mana, Champions, Testament by three. Nice test of by six, a whole you know, 210 shadow orbs, 70 nightfall orbs, 30 um, nether orbs, and we also have shadow room skills by 150. 150 peeps. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. And 50 drag um, shadow rooms dark scale. Ooh, that's a lot. And I don't know how much it's gonna be. We're gonna have to see on the 31st, and we'll talk about it if it's worth it or not. Then we have the New Year's Party Pack, which is Ultimate Unbind Special, 4,500 Diamantium, 200,000 Mana, 300,000 Rupees, Steel Brick, Damascus Ingot, Silver Key, Golden Key, Moonlight Stone, Sunlit Stone. So you're going to be able to un unbind 4-star Imprints, 5-star Imprints, 4-star Dragons, 5-star Dragon, and, you know, oh my gosh, and then got 4, you know, weapons, so... And four star weapons and five star weapons. Oh my gosh, this game new. I want to see the price points for all these um, because they don't show me any pricing information here, but they're coming. And we'll definitely talk about is it worth it or not because it's a lot to take it. It's a lot. So now that we're talking about New Year's, let's talk about the events that are coming with New Year's. But first, Let's talk about the things that, you know, I am saving that other one for last. So, starting on the 27th, so right now, starting right now, <laughs> we're bringing in the new year with multiple events to help you upgrade your adventure. So the first event, Avenue of Power and Avenue to Fortune are in-house stamina from the 27th to January 9th. Half stamina for Avenue of Fortune and Power. During this period, the stamina used uh, playing Avenue to Power or Fortune will be cut in half from the 27th to the 9th. Wow. Then, 
we have Shadow Step Ruins always open. During the period, Shadow Step Ruins, Beginner Center, and Expert difficulties will be constantly available. Use this period to upgrade your Shadow Tune Adventures for the next raid event. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. From the 27th to the 9th. Also, I feel that very awkward winking. I, I can't, I can't do this. Uh, <laughs> so, 27th to the 9th of Jan, we're going to have Shadow Step Ruins open all the time. Then New Year's Upgrade Event 3, double the recovery stamina. So stamina is going to be recovering twice as fast during the 31st to the 9th. So this is from the 31st to the 9th. The other one was from the 27th to the 9th. The other one, all both first ones are from the 27th to the 9th. This one here um, is starting from the 31st, from Monday. Then we have New Year's Upgrade Event number 4. So during the period, elemental ruins for all elements, beginner, standard, and expert will be constantly available. And this is from the 31st to the 3rd. So even though Shadow Step ruins will be open all the time, all the elements will be only be open during this period. And because there is going to be a double recovery stamina time during this period, I really do suggest that you farm for elemental orbs just because it is a great time to do it. And you know, finish those altars. Like I personally took advantage of the half stamina when all the when we had half stamina for elemental ruins. I took advantage and got so many of the orbs to be able to max out all of my altars. But hey, that's just my opinion and what I did. And I I'm glad I did that. Cause now my sh smith worms are doing other things instead of dealing with my altars. And so uh, the upgrade event is gonna be from 31st to 3rd which we just talked about. So do all of these. All of these are super important to do. Then we have the Rupee Mine and Treasure Trade update implemented. So we kind of already talked some about this, uh, but so today we have the Rupee adjustments. So at level one, the Rupee capacity of 800. Now it's 2,600. And we've talked about this in my previous video, but you know, this is great. They don't talk about level 30, but we're gonna go check that out because I do have one rupee mine at 30. So at level 20, it's from 1,750 to 5,780. And rupees are used for crafting weapons, building facilities, and your holiday. So you build your rupee mines, put them in good use. Um, adjustments to obtaining materials. We have refreshed materials, which can be obtained using the treasure tree. And it's now possible to convert low tier materials to high tier materials and vice versa. For example, wind room scales can be converted to squall scales and inferno orbs can be converted to blaze orbs. Take advantage so you can upgrade mana circles and weapons. Very, very nice update. I mean, I'm not going to say that's my favorite update because there's still more that we got to talk about. But first, let's just check the rupees situation because I as I mentioned I do have one rupee mine that is maxed out 7,400 so at max it's 7,430 I mean it does take it eight hours to max out but that is much more than it was before so Whew. thank you and yeah I have one about to be 29 actually three of them are about to be 29 so they're gonna be maxed out soon so very very important for you to do um, just to have them extra rupees. I do think that it was long overdue for them to increase the rupee limit for the mines um, But as I've said, it's very refreshing that Dragalia Lost Continues to do these, you know, these uh, quality of life changes And you know, somebody did mention in one of my comments about the Gatherwind situation because they don't have the same problem I do when it comes to Gatherwing um, but they mentioned um, having the possibility to choose whether you're using stamina versus gather wings for co-op. That seemed like a very interesting point of view. Um, I mean, maybe that's something that they could do, like a choice. Um, although, I don't know how feasible that would be coding-wise. Um, but, you know, I think for me, like, the issue is more because I play more solo because I don't have enough time to do multiplayer. Uh, so, I, that's why my gather wings stack up. But, you know, it is very interesting and maybe, you know, eventually they will find like a middle ground that they can help out maybe at least half wing because you know half the get the wing conception if you host compared to join I don't know but you know there there is a lot of different um, situations that the players experience so hey you know make sure that you submit a ticket to them you know you know I would say be thankful for the other changes that they make because they are very frequent with their changes but also if you know have a positive um, way of reacting to them whenever you suggest things because 
Honestly, if you approach them in a positive manner, it's more likely that you're going to get a positive outcome than, you know, the opposite of being bored. Just saying. My opinion. Um, and let's talk about this one. So chapter seven is available as of right now. You can, you know, chapter seven of the main story, Trek to Aquapolis, has been added on the 27th, which is right now. <laughs> Having found it in a new nation, Uden and company set out for St. Lodier, a city of water and an unexpected ruler. Family bonds will be tested as shadowy figures reveal themselves. I know this is the same summer we had before, but I'm so excited for this. I I might wait to do this on stream uh, for well, you know chapter 7. I might wait to do it on stream. I don't know. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yes, I'm so excited for that. But let's talk about the crown jewel of this of this segment of updates. And this video is already so long. But we got to talk about the new update. You know, the new event that's going to be coming on Monday the 31st. So you gotta gotta get ready for this. So the New Year's Tiding Fortune from afar raid event will begin at midnight the 31st, which is Monday. 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 Oosh, Monday. Okay, so as you can see in this image, and it'll be part of probably my thumbnail, probably, because I mean, it's spoilers already because it's all in the game. The New Year's Tiding Fortune from afar, you can see the character kind of shadowy in there, and she looks very cute, and it looks like she has a blade behind her because it looks very long, so she might be a blade user. I'm not very sure, but it's possible. The new year is almost upon the Halidom. A group of people bring blessings for the new year in samurai attire arrive from Hinamoto, a land to the east. But when a Naginata wielding young woman who was following that group shows up, the Halidom is thrown into uproar. Will they be able to safely bring in the new year? Okay, so maybe that's actually some, you know, some useful information. So let me bring a browser here. So it is a It is a Jap it is there is several varieties of traditional made Japanese blades. It's originally used by samurai class feudal. Okay, so it's probably a blade. It you know blade class in this game. So that's very cool. And she's probably going to be the free unit that we get because they said that we've run into them. So it's probably the free unit that we're going to get because this is a raid event. And I, sh I should probably read the other one, which says, During this event, you can use co-op play to fight against the light element raid boss. Light element raid boss meaning you need dark units for this event. Hmm. Did anyone expect that? Hmm. Sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> about the event. The main new additions and changes in the new tidings, New Year's Tidings fortune from a far raid event are described below. Additions. You'll be able to enjoy special New Year's gimmicks such as the raid boss dropping New Year's gifts and Gagami Mochi appearing in maps. Aww. Changes. There are even more extensive event story than the last raid event Resplendent Refrain. Oh, that's cool. The appearance rate for the extra raid battle has been adjusted since the last raid event with Splendid Refrain to make it appear more frequently. That is very nice to know because I know a lot of us had a lot of issues with the fact that the extra raid one was not showing up frequently and sometimes it took one person one try to get it or, you know, me 20 times to even get the, um, the extra raid. So I will, you know, this will be up on Monday and I will... You know, I, whenever I'm streaming next week, I will definitely be doing this event, probably on the 1st, because the 31st, we got to celebrate New Year's. And so I'm very excited, and as soon as we get any information about the characters that are going to be on the banner, I will definitely make a video about that. But, you know, this is very exciting, so this event will start the 31st, and it will be going all the way till the 9th of January, so it will be here for about a week and a half, almost two weeks. But that, you know, as always, is very exciting. It seems like we're having events start on Mondays and ending on a Wednesday. So that seems to be our current pattern. And at least we get like a few days as, you know, low key. But those have been all of the notices we got. 
I know it was a lot. I know this video is kind of long and you, know, you might have already tuned me out. Who knows? But it is so exciting that they keep dropping all this information and, you know, things that are coming in the future of this game. I'm just so happy and hopeful that, you know, 2019 for this game is just as good. So let me know in the comments below which of all of these updates slash notices slash sort of spoilers, not really spoilers that they gave it to us, um, is your favorite? What are you looking forward to? And are you tempted by those nature effects? Such as I am? I don't know. It, it's very hard to, to think about, but I'm very excited and, you know, I'm very enthusiastic about what's to come. But let me know in the comments below what do you think, and until next time, meow meow!